All right, guys, Darren from FBA Elite, and welcome back to another video. So in this week's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some steps I have taken throughout this year um, that without taking these steps, probably my FBA business wouldn't exist as it does at the moment. So whether you're a new seller looking for ideas on how to launch your product, or whether you're an existing seller, and maybe one of your products is struggling, hopefully this video, some of the things I'm gonna share with you will help you with your FBA business. So what I wanna do is just recap kind of two of my products, talk you through the ups and downs of the years and some of the strategies that I had to implement to stop these products pretty much just going to the wall because without this intervention, I think both of these products would have failed um, or they would have got to the point where they were barely worthwhile keeping going. So let's start things off with this first product at the top. Now, uh, just a quick shout out, if you're not using Helium 10 yet, I'd highly recommend it. You can sign up for free. Um, if you wanna try the paid plans, I'll also pop up some discount codes and make sure they're visible for the entire video. Um, but stats like this just aren't available in Seller Central and to actually visualize what's going on with individual products is really, really helpful. So let me talk you through this first product and some of the strategies that I had to implement throughout the year um, to get pretty much from where I was um, a couple of months ago, not selling very well to where I've been the last couple of weeks with some of the recent changes that I have implemented. So going all the way back to January, when the world was still normal, um, things were selling reasonably consistently. So this isn't what I would call one of my big products. This sells somewhere between five and 10 units per day. So if it hits those figures, that is generally where I'm quite happy to be. So as we moved into March and the lockdown kicked in, you can see things did really drop off. I only sold a handful of products some days, didn't sell any at all. And then as we come towards the end of April and into May, things started to pick back up. Now, I did have a period here where I was out of stock for a week or two. Um, I was supposed to avoid going out of stock, but what happened is when the inventory arrived in the country, the Amazon booking system would not give my freight forwarder a delivery date that was like two or three weeks away. And there's no way we could have got a delivery date that was any sooner. So I'm really frustrated I actually went out of stock there as I felt I was actually managing my inventory really well at the time and was just let down by Amazon's uh, quite long booking system, which was given us such a long delivery date. So things come back into stock and as we'd come out of lockdown, sales really took off. And actually for, you know, for a couple of months here, I was selling above uh, kind of the long-term average for this product. So it's going quite well. However, because of what had happened with lockdown, normally what happens is when I get a batch of inventory delivered or it's just about to be delivered to Amazon, I reorder the next batch because it's normally kind of a 10 to 12 week lead time. Um, but I wasn't feeling confident enough to reinvest at that point. So I didn't and held off to see how things went. Now, as things went better than expected, I then sold through and had a really long period where I was out of stock. So I was out of stock here from early August all the way through to, so I came back into stock mid, um, that's mid October actually, mid October there I'm back in stock. Day one, start to get some sales. So I've reactivated all of the PPC campaigns that I know have worked in the past to relaunch this product. Got a few sales on the first day, then someone somehow has been able to change my main photo. So I had to turn off all the PPC until I could resolve this. So I went pretty much for the best part of a week without making any sales. So finally, I managed to get that issue resolved come back into stock, went through the PPC process again, tried to relaunch the product. However, I could never really get back to where I was. So you can see here from middle of, or should I say from the 21st of October when we got the main photo back, all the way through up to around the end of the third week in November, I was just going sideways. And if we take a look at the um, BSR for this product, so this is the BSR chart. And again, this is something from Helium 10. So you click on the product detail page on Amazon and it will show you the BSR history for this product. So I come back into stock mid-October, had that week or so where I couldn't actually sell because of the main image issue. And then when I was able to relaunch, things just went sideways. So, you know, I managed to get some ranks back, but the BSR just stayed sideways from mid-October all the way up towards the end of November. And again, if I go to another screen here, this is one of the keywords that I track in Helium 10. Uh, we relaunched mid-October, got to back to kind of this position here at the start of November, but then it just goes sideways for two, three weeks. So I got to the point towards the end of November where I was looking at this product thinking, how am I going to pick up the sales? And I think that was when I released the video talking about that I wouldn't actually buy my products at the time. So again, check back through the video library. So I looked at the product and honestly assessed where I thought it was and what changes that need to be made. Um, so there were two things that I did. The first thing was to reshoot my main product photo. Now I'm not a photographer and my product photography has all been carried out by a professional. However, despite how technically good those photos are, 
Um, I didn't think my main photo really showed off what I wanted it to show. Also, um, I had been using the same main photo for the best part of two years, but when the other seller was able to change it, and then when I restored my main photo, Amazon kept rejecting it. So I know this does breach terms of service, but I used to use a very small overlay graphic on that main photo. However, because it had been removed and now I've been trying to re-add it, the, the bots just weren't taking it. So I couldn't add back that same photo that I had been using for two years. And I think that is one of the things that really had a big impact. So my actual main photo without the overlay graphic wasn't powerful enough to stand out in this niche. So I made the decision to, I called my brother and said to him, can I come down to your house? Cause he lives in the country. And I went and shot a brand new photo uh, showing what I think needed to be shown, showing what I think the customers would want to see. Um, on top of that, on the same day, I also filmed a video which I wanted to use for sponsored video ads. And again, I've got a video from a couple of weeks back where I go into the power of sponsored video ads. And when I combined the new photo with the sponsored video ad, the sales really took off. So if I go back to the first graphs that I showed you, you can see here from pretty much, I think it was the 22nd of November, I went to my brother's house and reshot this product. You can see here, sales have flown back up. So from being kind of, some days, you know, less than five per day. Now we've been averaging between 15 and 20 per day, most days since I relaunched, and we've already got seven today and we're barely halfway through the day. So changing the main photo with the sponsored ads PPC, which has an ACOS of less than 20% at the moment as well, by the way, so that's really, really efficient, has made a massive difference to that product. So if your product is struggling, be honest about your main photo, could that make a difference? And also, if you aren't running sponsored video ads, certainly look into that. Now, I had been running sponsored video ads for these two or three weeks here. However, the actual video was just kind of a collage of two or three of my best photos with some overlay text. But the new video that we shot was actually kind of the product being installed, showing it in use. So the customer could really see the full details of how this product works. So by the time they even click through to the product, they probably made up their mind that they already want it. Um, and when I looked at my conversion rates, my conversion rates jumped from around 15% to over 25%. So now one in four people that click on my product will actually go on to buy it. So changing the main photo and the sponsored ads video have made a big, big difference to that product. Now this other product here, which I'm gonna show you, this is usually my best selling product and does generate uh, most of the revenue and it has this year, as you can see, you know, it does generate more than the other product. Um, let's talk you through the year as it went. So the first part of the year, again, really strong up till March, lockdown kicked in, pretty much killed the product. Uh, things started to get back to normal, sales picked up, a little bit of going out of stock, and then it'd been fairly consistent uh, for the rest of the year. However, you probably can't see it as clearly because these, these bars are quite small, but I went from kind of selling in excess of 10 a day, which is the average, you know, somewhere between 10 and 15 was the average for this product. Over the last month or two, I wasn't getting into double figures most days. I'd noticed that there was kind of this very subtle trend and I was below 10 many of the days. And if I show you the um, BSR for that product, you can see that kind of from the end of September, things had been increasing. So rather than an average in around a BSR of two to 3,000, instead it really shot up and was averaging between kind of four, 5,000. So my BSR had gone up so I knew my product was not selling as well as other products in the niche. Now I know from when I relaunched this product after the first lockdown, so if we go back to the first lockdown here, the way I relaunched this product was actually with a price drop. I did try this in my other product, but it didn't respond to the price drop. So that's why I didn't use it as a strategy for that product. But for this product, the market did respond to the price drop. So um, when I relaunched this product, kind of May time, um, I dropped the product price substantially. As you can see that the blue line drops down and then my BSR dropped massively as the sales come in. And then over the space of kind of a couple of weeks, I re increased the price, maybe one or two pounds per day until I was back to the level um, that I was happy selling at. And then there was another period of out of stock, but things were going pretty consistent for the rest of the year until, like I say, we got towards the end of September and the BSR started creeping back up again. So at the moment, I am midway through implementing the exact same strategy of dropping the price, waiting for the sales to come in, waiting for the organic ranks to improve. And then I've already started increasing my price again slowly. And if we go to the keyword tracker, this is one of the keywords and you can see around kind of mid-September, we're in the top 10, which is where I wanted to be. But as we went through September and into October, things were dropping off. So I've made the price changes in the last week and already the ranks are starting to recover and we're already breaking back into the top 10. 
So there are three different strategies there that hopefully you guys will find useful. One, you've got reducing your price and then slowly incrementing it once the sales start coming in and your organic ranks start improving. When you do start increasing that price, don't do it too quickly. Maybe do one pound every two, maybe one or two days, maybe a bit longer, depending on how the sales respond. But don't rush it back up, otherwise you probably will find the sales drop off again very, very quickly. Uh, the second strategy is to take a look at your main photo. Be completely honest. Would you buy your product? How does it stand out in the niche? Does your product need to be reshot um, to show your product truly how it's going to work and not just what is good from a technical photo perspective, but actually from a customer perspective, what is most useful to the customer? And then the third thing is consider doing a sponsored video ad. If you can show your product in use or your product being installed or however it works for your product, then by the time the customer actually clicked on the advert, they hopefully have already made the decision whether they're going to be buying it or not. So I hope you guys have found this video useful, seeing the real world strategies that I've had to use this year to save my products and prevent my FBA business going to the wall. If you did, I'd really appreciate it. If you could take a moment, scroll down, hit that like button. If you want to see more videos from me, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to talk to me and over 2,000 other Amazon FBA sellers, head over to fbaelite.com. It is completely free. Sign up and I'll see you guys on the forums.